Good morning. This is your 28storms.com cyclone update for this Saturday, the 5th of November. The latest water vapor animation reveals that much of Western Australia has become a lot more stable in terms of the upper level environment. We see a lot of dry air beginning to push its way through as that trough and associated cold front continue to push off toward the east. And this is just going to continue ushering in more hostile mid to upper level westerly winds that will keep tropical cyclone activity limited for the better half of the next upcoming week. The following is the latest 500 millibar forecast from the ECMWF model. This is for 72 hours and we continue to see amplification of the pattern especially over western Australia. So the Timor Sea is going to continue facing especially strong westerly winds and by day five we actually see a little bit more mid-level ridging over the northern territory but it looks as though the heights are just going to be a little bit too significant for any significant low pressure areas over the top end. And the following is the latest 12Z GFS sea level pressure and precipitation forecast for the next seven days. Again, there are no organized systems approaching Australia. Although if there is anything that is somewhat worthy of note here is that by day seven and almost into day eight, there is a weak 1008 millibar surface low located to the north of Fiji. We'll simply keep an eye on that area to see if the models begin to show any type of consistency in that area. But even at 1,008 millibars, that is not strong enough to be considered a tropical cyclone. Now, as we work our way into the Indian Ocean, the southern hemisphere is all clear, but that's a completely different case here along in the northern Indian Ocean. And first off, keep in mind that there is quite a lot of convection here, especially just to the south of Thailand, where they are still trying to overcome the significant flooding that is still ongoing across much of that area. Please see the latest video from our partners at westernpacificweather.com. They have a really good rundown as to what is occurring in that particular region. And over here into the northwest Indian Ocean and into the Arabian Sea, we're still dealing with the remnants of tropical cyclone 3A. It's still causing some very light precipitation over the coastline but we really don't need any more of that in the desert-like regions because we've already had six fatalities due to flooding in that area. And to make matters worse, we also have a second area of low pressure that we are still monitoring here just to the west of India. And the models are still taking this off toward the northwest and eventually into the southern half of Pakistan. In fact, the latest 12Z run of the GFS is even more aggressive with developing the system into a tropical cyclone, especially as we go into days four and day five it gets down to just below 1000 millibars as it begins to make that turn off toward the north the good news is that it's still forecast to significantly weaken right before making landfall we can better make out the reasoning behind this forecast if we go ahead and observe what is occurring at the 500 millibar level and as we advance this into 48 and 72 hours notice this trough dipping down over much of Iran and Iraq this trough is going to allow for a weakness to develop in the subtropical ridge over the Arabian Sea and this system will have no choice but to turn northward and the positive news behind this northerly turn is that it's more than likely going to suffer from a lot of southwest vertical wind shear and dry air advecting off of the Arabian Peninsula as it does make that turn toward the north. Also there is still somewhat of model discrepancy between the GFS and the latest run of the ECMWF. They both accurately portray the trough beginning to dip down into the lower half of the Middle East, but the European is no longer seeing this potential for tropical activity over the Arabian Sea, despite that the GFS is now more aggressive than ever with that aspect of the forecast. So the Arabian Sea could remain a hotspot over the next week or so, but overall we're looking fairly good in terms of any cyclone activity. The tropics are still a long ways away from really getting going here, especially across the southern hemisphere but we will continue to monitor the tropics on a daily basis and you can anticipate another video update at 28storms.com cyclone by tomorrow afternoon.